All right, boys and girls, I'm about to detail my truck. My 2016 Ford F-150 XLT Sport. You can see that it is sitting there all nice and pretty. However, it has been over a month since I've washed it. I have not washed this thing, literally, I have not washed this thing since I got back from my uh, trip to Virginia. Uh, I got, I left on the 1st of August. Uh, today is uh, September 14th. Today is uh, one year after my nasty motorcycle accident on my uh, 2012 Yamaha 1300 Tour. Uh, I since have bought a new bike. Um, I thought that I had a passion for riding and now I'm just I guess I'm not fearful. I'm just uncomfortable on it. I don't love riding like I used to. Um, I'm not going to get rid of the bike. I'm going to try to push through this hard time in my mind. I, I, I guess creeping up to today, you know, I was thinking about it a lot. And I've been feeling the same way for a few months now. But not really riding it in the summertime because uh, it's so hot in Florida. But winter's coming. And uh, I don't know, I just, you know, I mean, the accident could have killed me. I mean, that's for sure. I mean, we, but we all could just die walking out to check our mail or, you know, crossing the street. So I don't think it's, it's fear. I think that, you know, I think a lot about my eight year old daughter and what it would be like for her to lose her dad. I think, uh, oof. I think that you know weighs a lot on me you know recently um a, a guy that i used to see every day just uh died on a motorcycle and um he wasn't a close friend of mine but he was a close friend to close friends if that makes sense and um it takes a toll on you i think you know is it worth it i don't know I, you know i used to feel like i got so much out of writing that it it was worth it no matter what I, but i don't feel that way right now it's not it's definitely not how i feel and um i don't know I, you know maybe i'll i'll push through it maybe i'll just sell the bike and not do that anymore um but it's tough to have people around you die of something that you fear that you may die on maybe my mindset isn't proper i don't know you hardcore riders out there who've never been in an accident um you know it, it's it's different everything is different after you have an accident i mean i've i have injuries uh this elbow i have severe nerve damage in this elbow elbow you can see down there where that chunk of skin was missing uh, my left foot um Every day when I wake up in the morning, I, I literally get out of bed and nearly fall over because my foot's so stiff. Um, if I stay sitting down for any amount of time, um, any more than you know, 15, 20 minutes, the foot goes stiff. I had a, a compound sprain, so all three of the main muscles and ligaments that surround your foot, those were all torn. Um, I mean, so I'm still living with the effects of the motorcycle accident a year later um yeah, again it's not bad it could have been i'm not bitching about it because i could have died it could have been far worse i could have brain damage right now what i am saying is it was life changing not only did i have that motorcycle accident which was not my fault i also about eight months after that i totaled a brand new truck uh, you know a lady slammed on her brakes yeah I, I you know i rear-ended her so in florida it's a no-fault state i got it's my fault it is what it is i'm not bitching or whining or any of this i'm just telling you that i'm kind of over it i get bored easily anyway so it's not like this wasn't inevitable at some point but now there's more to it is all i'm saying so anyway today is one year ago i got in that nasty motorcycle accident and I'm thinking about not riding anymore because I'm just not that passionate about it. And there are other things to do. Plus, 
it's too freaking hot to ride in the summertime and it rains all the damn time here anyway so um whatever maybe i'll get through it maybe i won't i don't know anyway sorry for that rant so i haven't washed my truck since uh the last day in july the day before uh the first of july where or i'm sorry the first of august where i left on my road trip to virginia uh, you can see all the sand in here. I have rinsed it down a lot. I mean, when I take the boat out or whatever, uh, I make sure to rinse it down so that there's no salt or anything on it. Um, not so much worried about the aluminum body uh, as I am the steel frame and other parts um, that make up the underside of the truck. So anyway, you can see all the spots everywhere, um, dust, debris, um got all my stuff it's all i carry on a mobile job that's it with the exception of my vacuum which is up front because i'm about to use it this is all you guys need yeah i don't know why you guys are using trucks and trailers and uh but i'm uh i am gonna shoot that's the next video i'm gonna shoot is um my thoughts on what kind of uh vehicle you should have for detailing uh, so I want to mention it is perfectly acceptable every single time that you say to your customer before before you go to a job can you please remove everything all the big stuff out of the vehicle so that I don't have to get to it so I don't have to look for a trash can um, that doesn't mean that they have to go and get everything out of it I think it's fine if you say can you please just make sure all of your personal items are out of it and generally they'll clean up the big stuff anyway but i just want to leave all this in here um this is my junk i got raw uh natural whole almonds good snack if you're on the road turkey bites um other random junk uh trash mail sunglasses all kinds of stuff pins chargers all that stuff just sitting in the seat uh, i gotta get rid of all that stuff first then i can proceed with the interior um, i carry extra water bottles that's always a good thing to do lots of extra water just everywhere uh, of course my kid uses a booster seat still she's eight but this thing's gonna be nice to clean up because it's nice and dirty so all right, I'm going to get all the trash out of the vehicle and then I'll I'll bring you in on what I start with. Uh, I always start on the interior of the vehicle. Um, I'm not going to do a time lapse today, but you guys seem to like that boat detail uh, video that I posted where I gave you more um, video of me actually doing some work instead of just yapping at you. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> I got all the trash out of the truck. Um, somebody asked me uh, what brand seat covers these are infins it looks like i got these on amazon.com i believe they were 50 dollars a piece i got one for each the front of the front seats what i like about them is they're not full seat covers so at any point if i want to take them off uh, and clean them i can they just uh, go over the headrest and then they have straps I don't necessarily use the straps, but you can strap them back if you want. Notice this one's all kinds of nasty, but the seat is not. Uh, there are neoprene uh, covers with like a rubber backing. Stay in place really nice. I'm very happy with them. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the $50 price point, but I can tell you I see a lot of value in it, so I'm fine with it. Um, again, nice and dirty, nice and clean. That's what they're there for. That's what I care about. All right, I am uh, detailing the interior of this bad boy and I'm um, wiping everything down with Magnum motorcycle juice because that's how I roll. And uh, I like to get the backs of my seats. Oh, uh, bunch of kids riding in, riding my truck. So I want to make sure the back of the seats all wiped down. I get my vents and all the cup holders and stuff really, really good. The last thing I do is wipe out these mats. The driver's mat is going to get hosed down uh, and then wiped out with a brush because it gets nasty. Um, but that's it. 
can see all the um, sunscreen crap all over the doors. But it is what it is. So, anyway, not much more to the interior detail because I'm not like really trying to like clean it, clean it. I'm just wiping it down, getting all the dust and sand and crap out of here. So, I'm going to wipe the interior down and then I'm going to shut her down. All right, as usual, I use the last towel um, that I use on the paint. I rinse it out really well and then I will hit the door door uh, panel. I'm sorry, I'll hit the door jam. See, the sun has got me all kinds of messed up today. I used the last towel that I used on the paint, rinse it out real good, and I use it on the door jam. It ain't complicated, but it sure is necessary. I can remember 15 years ago when I first got into detailing, the first few cars I did, I didn't even do the door jams. Those cars were at a uh, golf golf uh, club, and uh, I didn't do the door jams. One guy got so mad at me, he refused to pay me because I didn't know what I was doing, he said. The rest of the car looked fine. They definitely didn't, it didn't turn out the way that my vehicles that I detail now turn out by any, any stretch of the imagination, but it looked good, and... Um, his door jams weren't even that bad. The bottom line is that is a standard deal. It's part of the job. When you detail a car, even the lowest in detail that you have, you have to wipe those door jams out. It's just part of the deal. It's part of being thorough. And realistically, it's adding value to the service you provide. It's, it takes an extra two minutes, a minute per side, and then you're done. And you know, it makes the customer happy and that's what it's worth. So I'm gonna finish these door jams. We'll be right back. Get this juice boost on, wipe it in. Good deal. Whoa, I be tripping over my own feet. Nice, streak free and awesome, what we do around here. Super slick, I love it. There we go, juice boost, done baby. I could also, now that I've done the whole truck, you can hit the uh, wheel faces pretty easily with the juice boost protect your wheels. See how fast this is happening? Now you may have different wheel design where you can't do it this fast, but you get the point. It's that easy. Seal your wheels in no time flat. Protect them just like your paint. And they'll look good the whole time you own your car. Just like that, baby. Detail the interior. Got the exterior done. Got the exterior clean and protected. She's so pretty. Hey, thanks guys for taking the time to watch my videos. Uh, I know this one was another long one. If you hate these long ones, let me know. I will make them shorter. I will just get to the point from now on. Um, I got good response from the last one, the boat video. I've got lots more videos to shoot on my list. I've been pretty busy lately, fortunately. And um, if I can help you guys with anything, please let me know, 813-846-4406. I can't help you if you don't ask me or reach out to me. So thanks again, have a wonderful day. I'm gonna get some water and take a little break. I'm fat these days. And it's definitely taking a toll on my energy level when I'm out here detailing. I need to fix all of this. I'm working on it, though.